Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome back to more Planescape Torment. Okay. Right, how much have I explored? Not much. There's still over here, there's probably over here and over here. Okay, there might be more as well. What? Uh. Alright. Oh god, I, I must have pressed some. Okay, that's why. I was about to say, why can't I move? I must have clicked that by accident, I pressed a button that, um. activated it. I'm not entirely sure. How bizarre. Yes. What's actually over here? Oh boy. One down. Two down. Oh, they actually missed, I think. Yeah, they did. Luckily, they can't cast anything, so we fine. They just explode. Oh man. Woohoo! Lots of all those cranium rat tails. I think... Didn't I want... Or didn't what's his face want me to do that? For the man in Ragpicker Square. Oh yeah! Shit! I forgot about him. Bronze... No. Find a slay in a cranium rat in the Dead Nations. So look around the Dead Nations and slay any cranium rats. Cranium rats, I make him across. Raw, nope. I'm not taking that. Mm-mm. Oh boy. Okay, I don't think there's actually going to be all that much you can talk to. Doubtful. Okay. I mean, it's named, technically. Doesn't necessarily have a name, but it is called a doubtful... Stale Mary. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I mean, Stale Mary's... You know, she's got a name, so that must mean something. Just a quick save. As I always do. So this musty smelling female zombie looks exceptionally old, almost mummified. Her skin has the appearance of mouldering grey-green leather one of her eyes has fallen out, leaving a dark pit in her face. Her voice is slow and thick. G g g greetings. Greetings. Oops. Greetings. She indicates herself and speaks again. Sir. Sir. Oh, stall Murray. It sounds as if her vocal cords are festering away in some soupy mess at the base of her throat. Stay on Mary. I had some questions. She nods her head, awaits, awaiting your question. Ah, oh. uh, I'm thinking if I should. Mm. Which was this? Mm. I mean, I could just go through all of these. Sure. I need to speak with the Silent King. Can you help me? Oh! She mumbles and groans a stuttering, completely incomprehensible phrase. I can't understand you. Can't you speak more clearly? She shakes her head. Sadly, her shoulders rising up in a painfully slow shrug. Okay then. Am I still a fighter? I am. I might change to a mage. I had some questions. Okay, cool. Um, Dakon. Change me into a mage, please. What is your will? There are things I would wish to know. Teach me about your teachings. I wish to give up my current profession and become a mage. Whoosh. Can I use spells now? Oh man, I actually have some available. Woohoo! Apart from these two. Yeah. Alright, cool. What the hell does that say? Unusable light and placing back. Ah, oh, fuck. I have no space. Shit. In that case, I'll just get rid of these. Hmm. I mean, that kind of sucks. Oh, wait a bloody second. Not the obsidian ones, it's these ones. I mean, if I'm a mage, I might as well just equip them. My AC is three. I'm so confused by the armor class. Even as a fighter, my armor class went down to five. Yeah, and I'm assuming the lower the number, the worse. But, yeah, I have no idea. I had some questions. Right. Let me ask you if someone... No. Why have I been made a prisoner? 
She mumbles a groan and groans a stuttering. Uh, yeah, yeah, incomprehensible thing. Shakes her head. Farewell. Right. Okay. There must be something I can. Can can she teach me? Where am I? I need some other questions. What are you doing here? Still can't understand you. Who inhabits this place? Other questions. Someone in particular. Other questions. Small bronze sphere. Yeah, she, I can't. Hmm. There is something to do with Stale Mary. But I don't know when. Wait, where was the. There he is. The doubtful skeleton. So there is no meat left on the bones of this ancient animated corpse. Only a few coloured rags which seem to serve more as decorative. Well, as, decor as decoration than clothing. It is staring at the foot. at the floor. Shaking its head and tapping its chin thoughtfully. Greetings. It makes no response, apparently lost in thought. I said greetings. It looks up at, and seeing you sighs with a small puff of dust. I have much on my mind and would pre prefer to be left alone. Uh, is there something I could help you with? No, I have a difficult decision to make, it is all. Hmm. Okay, what decision is that? Updated my journal. To continue my life here or to die. To finally pass on into the true death I've been told of. Oh, God. I'm just like, what should I do? Mm. Right, okay, so... True death? A complete absence of passion, the true death is the true life beyond the shadow of existence. It is said that we must reach this place to free ourselves. I see no reason why you should give up your life. So take thy words into consideration, now I ask thee to leave me to my thoughts. Farewell. Okay, so now I've... Okay. I'm assuming... Because, uh, Sogo's... Or whatever, I don't know what, how you say his name. Sogo? Because he's spoken him, or talked them around into this, like, way of thinking. If I told him that they're having, like, second thoughts... I'm assuming he might go and, like, check it out and then I can open the slab. Ah. Well met again. I met a skeleton in one of the hallways here. That seems on the brink of seeking the true death. Oh, I will go speak with him now. There it is. This metal slab is apparently used as a bed. Pry it open, look inside. Oh, I need to wait for him to actually leave. Alright, come on, so I gotta hurry up. Ba 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 I mean, I can still see him. I'll be able to see him forever. No, I think, no, no, no. Yeah, there he's disappeared now. Pry open, look inside. Certain that Sogo's not coming around, you pry open the small panel and peer inside. There's some sort of book or journal there. Pull it out and read it. So the book proves to be Sogo's journal. It details his being attacked by a wearer, his eventual regression into, oh, lycanthropy, and his flight from the mortuary after unwittingly slaying and devouring a friend. Looking for a hiding place, he came upon the warrens of thought and agreed to serve many of as one. Hive mind of the cranium rats gathered there. He is now here in the dead nations in order to spy on the undead for many as one, who hope hopes to one day control this part of the catacombs. Replace the journal, close the panel, and leave. Updated my journal. Oh dear. No. Find him. No. Did I find his knife? He stabbed a ghoul in the eye with it. His lucky knife. Maybe I did find it. Hold the phone. No, they're the punch daggers. It's not like a lucky dagger. Yeah, I don't think I've come across it yet. Huh. Weird. Yeah, and these two are just bone daggers. What actually happened with this? The cursed spitter probably lives in the upper wards. Okay. Kenta, fa da 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 da. None of these are any different. Like, it's not changed. It did say my journal was up. Oh, never mind. My journal was updated. But never mind. <laughs> hmm. 
You didn't actually get very far. <laughs> well met again. I was in your chamber and saw your journal. Updated my journal. Oh god. He pauses for a moment, I see. He suddenly begins a startling transformation. What the? Oh god, he becomes a were-rat. Oh boy. I might try a spell. Chromatic, submerge of the will of Ilkar's eye. Can't do that. Scripture of steel? What's this do? Plus one to hit and saving throws. Could try that. Um, on myself. Nice. Fuck. That's a lot of damage. Oh my. Not just attack, please. Chromatic orb. <laughs> Identify. Jesus. Oh, it's a fucking wear rat. Shit. Yeah, Mark can't do anything. You might be able to do a litany of curses. Yeah, it might do something. Who knows? I don't fucking know. That sucks. I'd completely forgotten. Do I, Snife? As for my character... Oh shit, I've just realised. Oh, we killed it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh dear. Oh, that's awful looking. Bloody hell. Um, right, have everybody selected. Right, get rid of that. Commons Sogo's skull. The skull used to be attached to Sogo's body before the, his unfortunate accident. Oh. Oh no. I took his head. Ah. So I wonder if I actually just use this, can I just rest? I don't want to pry it open and look inside. Rest. I may not rest. Fuck you. Right, we need to go and talk with, um, what's his face? Hargrim. Interesting. So he was a rat all along. Huh. There he is. Right. Acknowledges your presence by nodding quietly in your direction. I had some questions. Oh boy. It motions for you to proceed. Okay, I found and killed a group of cranium rats in the middle or in the rubble of an old passageway. Updated my journal. Oh nice, that's a lot. It nods obviously pleased. Thou have our thanks. May the Silent King watch over thee. I had some other questions. Did you know so goes a cranium rat spy? It draws closer to you, smelling it of dust and mouldering cloth. What is this thou speak of? What proof have thee that Sogo run with the brain vermin? There's proof in his quarters, his journal. He's dead now, though. Updated my journal. I shall look into the matter. Should this be true, I shall owe thee thanks. I had some other questions. Oh, there we go. I got XP for it, so it all worked. May I speak with the Silent King? It holds up a bony palm with a creaking groan and a puff of dust. It jaws open to speak. No. Okay. I'll take my leave then. Ooh, looks like my skills have increased. I still didn't get any ex- Did I not level up from any of that? They did. So what did he get? Plus one to edged weapons. Saving throws have improved. Five hit points. One hit point. Ah, from his constitution bonus. Ooh. Wait, his, his armor class is 1. I also just realized it actually shows you all of the- He's good! Oh, he's chaotic, actually. Chaotic good. So what is his? Lawful. Okay. Yeah, his armor is also the same. 10 and then 2, so he got 12 hit points, and his fighter skills have improved. It sucks that he can't attack were-rats. Maybe he can, it's just to deal with his, um... I can change the teeth. I want you to become a magical weapon. There. I really hope that worked and they didn't just... So what happened? Da da da. Crushing damage. I want you to do piercing. So it's piercing or crushing. I don't know what the difference is with... Where at? Like, it's my... <laughs> my weapon's not working on this thing. But I don't know why. I honestly thought that the where at was gonna be... Uh, awful. 
I really did. Because well, the one time it actually hit me, I'll mark the point, the first time it hit me, it did like 14 damage, which is a lot. Containers locked. Locked. Not locked, but can't go in it. Locked. Perhaps puzzled skeleton. Okay, we well, might as well quick, quick save again. What is this puzzled skeleton? The skeleton is muttering to itself, occasionally pausing to scratch its skull. It is old enough so that no meat is left on its bones, only a few coloured rags. Greetings! Hmm. So it nods a greeting in return, but does not reply to you. Okay, I had some questions. The skeleton looks up at you and grunts in frustration. Not now. Forgive me, but I have the most horrid riddle on my mind, and I can't puzzle it out. What's the riddle? It seems surprised. Oh, going to give it a try, art thou? Um... I mean, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Very well. This is from a chortling buffoon of a bone bag. Chortling buffoon of a, of a bone bag thou may well find nearby. It refuses to give me the answer and it's killing me. Go on then. It nods. Think of words which end in gree. Angry and hungry are two of them. There are but three words in the common tongue. What is the third word? The word is something that one uses every day. If thou hast listened carefully, I have already told thee what it is. G, R, and Y. I have no idea. Hmm. It's, uh, hmm. I'll think about it. Farewell. Okay. Is it, was it this skeleton? Greetings. I had some questions. Okay, there's nothing new with that. More zombies. There's a lot of chests in this place. Another skeleton. A ghoul. Oh, skeleton merchant. Whistles merrily. Oh wait, a merchant. Perfect. I can sell my stuff. You see a skeleton bouncing from the ball of one foot to another. Air whistles from between its teeth. It looks very, very bored. As you approach, its demeanor changes entirely. Welcome, welcome. I've got a host of items for your perusal. Fresh from the latest Burks who've been trying the, to loot the quiet ones. Would you like to see them? Yeah, show me what you've got. Uh, oh, all right, I was about to say, what the hell? God, I've got a lot of shit. Should I keep this? Could I just get rid of it? I get the feeling I don't need it. I've kept it for so long, but I don't think I actually need it anymore. <gasps> wow. That's expensive. I should also get rid of the rags, too. What about the earrings? Once hung from a nobleman's ear. Can't help but feel that they're not that useful anymore. Huh. Alright, get rid. Whoop. I'm pretty sure if you sell anything to an enemy... Uh, enemy. If you sell anything to a merchant, they will keep it indefinitely. So I sold him the gold earrings. So if I do need them for something, I could always come back and buy them. I'm pretty sure they never restock. Alright, we really don't have anything. Shit. Huh. Right, okay. So what do I want? I want to get rid of this, I think. I, I, would have ho I would hope that the game would be like, you shouldn't get rid of this. It's a, you know, quest item or something. So if it doesn't, then, you know, whatever. Um, I wonder. Hey, what's eating you, Chief? No. What are your special talents? Litany of curses. Okay. I was wondering, because obviously Dakon allows me to turn into, or from a fighter to a mage, or from a mage to a fighter, vice versa. Um, I mostly wondered if he would be able to turn me, if Mort would be able to turn me, turn me into a thief. I don't know why I thought that, because Mort is not a thief. No, he's a fighter, so, you know, he's snickering. The skeleton is shaking its head and giggling to itself. It it guffers and snorts occasionally, biting down on its bony hand to stop itself. It's old enough so that no meat is left on its bones, only a few coloured rags. <laughs> Greetings, yes. It, it sniggers, puffs of dust flying forth with each breath. I'd like the answer to one of your riddles. 
It tickers, it titters mockingly, not likely, seeing your expression only causes it to laugh harder, chattering its teeth at you. Oh dear. What, what is the riddle then? It nods giggling. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Right, so now think of the words which end in gree. Angry, hungry, uh, and hungry are two of them. There are but three words in the common tongue. What is the third word? The word is something that one uses every day. If thou has listened carefully, they've already told thee what it is. Gree. Think about it. I want to save. I keep pressing the wrong bloody button. Q. No, I'm quick saving for a reason. Greetings. I'd like the answer to one of your riddles. I'll bluff. Tell me or I'll break, break you into teen, tiny giggling bits. The laughter stops abrupt, abruptly. <laughs> the skeleton turns its head away from you. Ah. Oh. Okay, I should probably load. Oh god. Yeah, I quick saved. It's fine. Uh, quick save three. Yeah, that one. Oh dear. All right. Yeah, we're fine. I now know it just basically says the same as the other one. So that's how I get out of here. Where's this lead? Oh, it's fucking locked. Knifed go- Oh! The ghoul's- Oh, this ghoul's face has a great gash across it. And one of its eyes has been destroyed entirely. Despite the relative freshness of the wound, it seems to cause the foul-smelling creature no pain or discomfort. You notice a grimy knife tucked under its waistband. The letters you hear are carved into its handle. Uh, could I have that knife you've got tucked into your belt? Gore looks down at the knife, scratching its head as if wondering how it got there. Finally, it looks up. At it looks up and gives you a sly, toothy grin. Meat want knife. Meat make trade. Yes. How about these rat tails? Oh my god, it worked. Yes, yes! The ghoul snatches them away greedily and devours them. After licking his clawed fingers clean, he tosses you who hears a knife. Uh, thanks. Farewell. Yay, we got the knife. What'd I give him? I gave him six cranium rat tails. So what, where's the knife? Wait, where is the knife? Oh, it's there. How could I not see this? You're not usable by priest. It's one to three damage? Should I ident- would I identify in it? Screw me over. I don't know. I'm hoping it wouldn't. Could I save? If in doubt, quick save. Now it doesn't change its name to anything, so I think it's fine if we identify it. Thankfully. Oh! Another skeleton. Oh boy! Royal Guards! Oh my god, are these what I'm thinking? Are these the things you can make collapse with the tome? Do I still have that? Oh god, do I? Ha! <laughs> nope. I got rid of that ages ago. I mean, I think I got rid of it because I didn't think I'd need it again. Which is honestly kind of true. So if I talk to the Royal Guard, what happens? This massive skeleton far larger than an ordinary human wears ornate bronze armor engraved with elaborate symbols. As you approach it, it looks down at you briefly, then away, then away again. Greetings, living. The thing's voice booms. I stand here as a royal guard of his lord and majesty, the Silent King. I must ask that you do not distract me from my task with questions. Could you at least tell me who you are, or were? Whoa. I am in death as I was in life, one of the 99 sons of the Western Mountains, fathered when the member of Amaha was severed and cast down upon the face of Ithia. On a bound to defend our queen, we were lost to this world when ours, and our lady with it, was destroyed by an angry godling, a brother of Amaha. Many of our number roamed the plains, but some, like myself, chose to remain in, uh, in sigil. Or oh, sigil. When I passed away, I was interred here, and later awoke in the state you find me in. Now, I then choose, uh, chose a new master, the Silent King, to defend. I see. Farewell. Okay! I think I fully explored this place now. We have the Weeping, yeah. We have Stale Mary's Chambers. Oh! Wait. Antechamber to the Silent King's throne room. So goes chamber in the chapel. Yep. Right, yeah, so we got the knife back, which is good. We also have a cast... or whatever her name is, so I'm curious what she is. Yeah, kind of. So the rot stink of this 
ancient-looking ghoul woman is nauseating, even from a distance. Her grey-green skin is infested with tomb rot and festering sores, and her fingers, each capped by a long curved talon, are covered in dried blood and filth. Her hair, thick with scuttling insects and worms, hangs to her knees. It hides nearly all her, all her face in shadow, save for a fanged feral grin and a lolling grey tongue. Greetings. What have we here? Some pretty meat, eye? A little tough gristle? Sharpen me teeth on your bone and grow fat on your marrow, hmm? I had some questions. So... Who are you to come before me like a feast? Answer, a cast. I have no name. Then neither does a cast. I call ye Blooded One. Pray you still have a name and a will before I tear you apart. Blooded One. My people, uh, meet people to eat. Her yellow eyes peer intently at you through her ragged white hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I wish to know. Farewell. Okay. The living should... Wait. Oh, the living here should be our food. Oh, God. That fucking skeleton's just laughing to himself. Right, so... The darkened... Okay. Hmm... Right. I'm just looking around. Hmm. <laughs> I need to. I still need to meet with the king. Silent king. Whatever. I'm like not sure. I'm just looking around for. Well, I need to find what's his face first. I killed the cranium rats, so was that not enough? I'm also looking for named things. None of these are named. Hargrim! Please, help me out. Right, so I had some questions. What? Have I done anything? We're in need of healing, could you- Oh wait, could we rest here? No. Okay. And some other questions. May I speak with the Silent King? Okay, but why not? I need his permission to leave. Oh, there we go. I shall carry thy request to the Silent King. The Silent King has spoken, thou art free to go. Thy way shall no longer be barred. Updated my Holy fuck. Yay! See, the weird thing is, right, when I level up as a mage, nothing actually happens. Like, I don't get any sort of characteristic points. Or attribute points. I don't get to apply anything into any of these. It just levels up my mage skill. And now I need 40,000 XP to level up to level 6. Kind of sucks. <laughs> A little. It's cool that I get to choose, though. Hmm. So I'm free to go now. Technically. Oh. So... Wait, has he disappeared? Oh, he's gone back here. So what happens if I actually ask him to see this, like, speak with the Silent King? Oh! Okay, Hargrom nods solemnly at you. Could we rest here? Stares at you silently for a time, then sighs softly. Thou shalt be saved here. Rest. Yes! Finally. Good stuff. What? Uh, ah, oh, there he is. So, uh, Hargrim. Bit mean of you to just, you know, disappear. I wanted... To ask you about Stale Mary, how do you understand her? Updated my journal. Wait, so there is a long pause before the skeleton makes a, its reply. Thou must learn to listen, that is all. Perhaps I'll, perhaps I'll speak with her again then. Farewell, Hargrim. Okay. Stale Mary! No, what I want her, her to teach me is zombie speak. Essentially. Hmm. Stale Mary. Here we go. I had some questions. Hargrim said that I needed to learn to listen to you. Do you know what he meant by that? Oh god. The cop takes a step towards you, reaching her arm out to touch you. Let her touch you. Should I? I'm kind of just like, mm, this is either going to be a good idea or a bad one. But I'm also not entirely sure. Let her touch you. Oh, there we go. Oh! 
Her nearly fleshless hand brushes gently against your forearm, and she speaks. Listen, how did you do that? She touches you once more. Speak to us, you can, but you must do it properly. Can you teach me? She smiles, the hardened skin on her face creaking like thick leather. Yes. Please do, then. Updated my journal. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. Yes, perfect. She finishes teaching you the skills required to speak with the dead. A process she calls Stories Bones Tell. Can I talk to any dead body? Some, others too dead, must use skill. Thanks, I had other questions. Where am I? Halls of Silent King. Tell me about the Silent King. Silent King. Yes. What can you tell me of him? Silent King. What do you know of him? Silent King. Never mind, tell me of someone else. Tell me of yourself. S Stale Mary. What do you do here? Guide other zombies, care for quiet ones. Quiet ones? The true dead. Tell me of about the other zombies. Do work of Silent King. What sort of work? Rebuild that which has been broken. Care for the true dead. Who else inhabits this place? Zombies, skeletons, gore rats. Tell me about the skeletons. Hargrim, their leader, gives us the word of Silent King. Skeletons guide us in our work. Tell me about the Silent King. Oh, never mind. Tell me somebody else. Tell me about a cast. Hungry, angry. Tell me of someone else. Uh, Hargrim. Hargrim, skeleton leader, gives us the word of Silent King. Concerned, worried. Why is he concerned? Sogo, a cast. Why is he worried about Sogo? Sogo preaches death. Preaches death? Wants us to die. Why does he want you to die? He dustman. Why is Hagram worried about a cast? A cast angry. Angry? A cast want to uh, want to kill everyone. Why does she want to kill everyone? Hungry angry. Okay. Need some other questions. What are you doing here? Guide other zombies. Other questions. Have you seen a small bronze sphere anywhere here? No, sorry. That's all I wish to know. So can I talk to all of them? Greetings. Nothing new. Cool. On the plus side, I learned about the the. I learned I learned stories. Is it stories? Tell dead. I I, I don't remember. Stories tell death. I can't remember what it's called. It's story something. Shoot. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. It's not you. I don't know what I'm looking for. Wait, can I just go through here? <gasps> My goodness! What is over here then? Is it just like oh, it's just like a storeroom? Rags, bandages. I mean, I'll take those. And in here we have nothing. <sighs> Great. What I should actually do is my spell book. Yeah, and learn friends. I might want to do that multiple times. Bill Car's eye. Remove that memorized spell, and that one. And the scripture of steel. And also the chromatic orb. Don't really care for it. I'll let I'll memorize that twice and then three magic missiles. Right, I need to go and speak with uh Hargrim again. To uh rest up. Otherwise I won't have access to my spells. Skeleton merchant, zombie, ghoul. I'm looking for like hmm. I'm looking for named ones. Yeah. Can I not open this? Nope, container's lock locked. Either way. Skeleton, skeleton. Hugry. 